Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, the official guide to GMAT year 2015. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. One more time, the official guide. GMAT 2015, you must have it. The math problems that are appearing in this edition, 2015 edition, happen to be the exact same problems that appeared in the previous edition, the GMAT review, 13th edition. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. Instead of redoing the problems, I'm going to simply tell you where to find the solutions. All right, here we go. Let's, let's get going. On day 167, on page 167 rather, on page number 167, you will find problems 110 through 113, 110 through 113, they were all solved on day number 301. On page number 168, we have problems 114, 115 and 116, the solutions to those three problems were presented on day number 303. On the same exact page again, 168. 116 and 117, this 116 was done twice, Was one, the problem number 116 was done the second time. And when you watch the video, you will see the reason why. It was done with a different method. 116 and 117 were done on day number 305. Again, page 168, problem number 118, 119 and 120, solutions to those three problems we will find on day number 303. Just type in GMAT math, day 307, the video will pop right up. Solutions to all the problems are presented from day number 251 through 400 for GMAT 2015 official guide. And finally, on page number 169, we have problems 121 through 125. Solutions to those five problems were presented on day number 309. As you can see, the all the problem solving questions, the solutions to all the problem solving questions appear on the odd numbers. Day 301, 303, 305, 307, and 309. And you will find the solutions to all the data sufficiency questions on the even number days beginning with 252 all the way up to 400. Thank you.